Well, we know that sun is shining out there today. It is hot out there. You need to grab your water, stay hydrated, and another day for sunscreen. Keep Absolutely. layering up, Kelly. Right, no doubt about it. And yes, the, if you're heading out to outdoor concerts tonight, grab the bug spray, as you were mentioning. I just put that on my list of to-dos because I'm going to go tonight to Spark mm -hmm. Fishers. Great night for outdoor plans. This weekend, we are tracking a few storms here and there, but it should be a great holiday weekend. So taking a look now at some of those conditions all across central Indiana, Bunker Hill. I think what I'm hearing, is that Vertical Horizon? Yeah. She's everything she wants. He's everything she needs. Love it. I love Vertical Horizon. Never seen them in concert. They'll be at Spark Fishers tonight starting at 7 p.m. Free tickets for that. Bunker Hill camera looking beautiful there. If we head to Bloomfield, much of the same. Gorgeous conditions all across central Indiana. We do have a boundary to our north that's trying to trigger some showers and thunderstorms. Even a few severe thunderstorms off to our west making its way into Missouri. But we're going to stay dry this afternoon. We'll probably see a few of those high clouds spilling off of some of those storms later this afternoon. However, it's just going to be a warm day. We'll see temperatures climbing quickly already to 88 degrees. In Muncie, it's 86 in Batesville, 81 in Crawfordsville. Downtown Indianapolis, we are soaking up the sun, 83 degrees, with winds out of the south-southwest at 10 miles per hour, mostly sunny skies. And yes, we are tracking the potential of some storms later this weekend. An active weather pattern will start to move back in again as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, 4th of July. The, it actually increases a little bit more. But we're still very far out. We'll take our time as we get closer to that. Our future track shows that the winds out of the south will continue to tap into moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, allowing that warm, moist air to merge in. Temperatures climb into the upper 80s. Now, we'll enjoy a lot of sunshine today with highs around 89 degrees. Some areas will likely crack that 90 degree mark. As we get into the overnight hours, we will see mostly clear skies. It'll be muggy overnight and temperatures will fall into those low 70s this evening. And then as we get into tomorrow, we'll put in a chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm as that boundary starts to drift a little bit farther to the south. Isolated in the morning, and then we'll still have the potential of a pop-up thunderstorm Saturday afternoon. However, it's going to be another hot day tomorrow with temperatures soaring back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees with those winds out of the west-southwest. Now, as we get into Sunday, we will have a chance of some stronger storms. Notice even by Sunday afternoon, we'll be tracking a couple of stronger storms that will move through the area. They'll still be pretty short-lived, and not everyone will see rain. However, there is a risk of severe weather. It does include northeast central Indiana, a low risk at that, but we may see some damaging winds out of that. Sunday's high, around 90 degrees. Now, we do have chances of storms on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then as we get into the 4th of July, we're definitely going to be watching out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. The most rainfall we've ever had on the 4th goes back to 1957, where we had close to 2.5 inches of rain. We are tracking temperatures to still climb into the mid 80s, so it will be a warm summer day. But we do have that chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Isolated thunderstorm chances will continue through Monday, and then we'll see better chances of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week with those temperatures in the mid 80s next week.